So I got this HTC Touch uh, about two months ago. It's also called the Nikki 100. I don't know why that is, but anyway, it's a pre-Android uh, era HTC. It's actually a Windows Mobile. So I thought it was uh, interesting to uh, check out what this thing has to offer. Unfortunately, it was locked and I put it away in the drawer for uh, quite some time, quite a few weeks, then spent my summer uh, working and going on holidays. Anyway, long story short, I've actually forgotten about this thing. It cost me, I believe, two to three euros to purchase, which is not much for a, an okay looking HTC device. The paint is, while well, it's in good nick, the plastic chassis is okay, but as you can see, the sliding mechanism, uh, well, it's a bit uh, off, off center, off camber, I don't know how to explain. It's, uh, well, the, the springs are a bit worn out. It works okay on the slide up function, on the slide up motion, but when you press it down, it sort of uh, has this gap on top. I don't know if you can see this. So it's not the best of examples, but it works just fine for my channel and my collection. Now what we have to decide here is whether this thing is a keeper or will it go into the pit of doom. And while we decide that, I propose we have a look at what this thing has to offer. So it was announced uh, and released in 2007. It's a rather compact um, phone at 107 by 55 by 15.8 millimeters. And it's supposed to be a half QWERTY, though I don't know what that refers to because I just see a classical T7 uh, keyboard right here. But anyway, those are minor details. When you slide it up, I, I like the clicky function. It sort of feels mechanical enough, so it gives you a pleasant feel. Also, there's a ridge here for your thumb. The buttons are okay-ish, they offer enough uh, feedback and texture, though nowhere near uh, Blackberry, um, um, nowhere near the Blackberries of the day, but I guess that's fine. There's also supposed to be a stylus here, though for the life of me, I don't know where it is or whether I, I think I got a stylus, but it wasn't original and I lost it. Anyway, it's not important. There's also a two megapixel camera here on the back and also a selfie camera, though at that time it was supposed to be just a call camera for 3G uh, phone calls. Um, there's no autofocus, just sort of this primitive selfie um, way of taking photos. You have this mirrored uh, plastic here which shows the position of your face so you can snap a pic with the back phone. Also some minute and sorry looking speaker but Hey, that's what you got in 2007. Now the back is quite interesting. It almost looks like a prototype phone because there's not a lot of information back here. Just the SIM tray, uh, the Nikki 100 uh, name, which I don't know what it stands for, the serial and here on the side on top of the slider uh, part you have a well, you have a micro SD slot, which I don't know how to operate. Maybe, yeah, like so. So, yeah, there's a micro SD slot, which was pretty fancy back there. Anyway, this thing is a Microsoft Windows Mobile 6 device powered by a Qualcomm MSM 7200 chipset rated at 400 megahertz. It also has a GPU, an Adreno 130, micro SD card as mentioned, 128 megabytes of RAM and 256 megabytes of ROM. But enough, um, well, enough uh, fooling around, let's insert the battery and see whether this thing works, because I tried a hard reset and supposedly this would 
make it work I don't know so let's give it a shot by the way the battery is in pristine condition as is customary with uh, well it's the norm with all my HTC phones the power button is here on top now I wouldn't want to try anything special with this device but I would like to take some pics and just fumble around the menu show you what this thing is supposed to look like when it's working so I'll come back when it's booting after it's booted up because it might take some time so good news this seems to be one of those rare instances where I do lock out because this thing is supposed to be operating uh, quite nicely now the only uh, her the only hiccup here uh, seems to be the language which I'm not familiar with I don't speak anything <laughs> I don't understand northern languages but it's a Windows Mobile 6 so actually it's pretty well related with my uh, slew of HP pocket PCs also in the background you can see my um, other HTC which I picked up rather cheaply in the last couple of months so again this is um, an advice to you, uh, you phone collectors out there if you want uh, well vintage mobile phones on the cheap HTC mobile phones especially those with Windows mobile seem to get, be going very cheaply right now so I would uh, advise you to get them while they're still available so let's see if I can take a snap, a picture here, and uh, well, well, draw up some conclusions about this thing. Also, I have to mention the menu, which is heavily customized compared to other um, Mo Windows Mobile 6 variants, and well, it seems to have a lot of uh, home functions and widgets and shortcuts. So let me just start up the camera and see if I can take a picture. Now, I'm not going to try and upload this picture uh, on the video itself, but I will try to give it more light so it can work better like so. Uh, let's see what the result is. Okay, here we go. So this is the last picture. I'm not going to show you previous pictures because I don't know who the owner of this HTC phone is. And I suspect it was not um, acquired through um, orthodox methods. Let's put it like that. So as with other resistive touchscreens, this one is <laughs> rather... Well, it's rubbish and I can't really pinch to zoom. I could once, I have managed once, but it went all the way through and you can see anything. So uh, 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 rather I will try to zoom in with my camera phone right now. So you can see the, well, there is some subject separation and some, well, some clear details. Anyway, moving back to our, uh, initial uh, thoughts and impressions of this HTC phone and to try to drop some conclusions. It's a quite a good find at let's call it three euros. Uh, I'm pleased with this phone. It will most definitely be going in my collection and not into the pit of doom but any other plans for it I don't know if I ever get the time I'm sure I will handle uh, I will be up to the task of of uh, switching to uh, English language for the OS um, sh would I advise you to buy one as a collector's item yes most certainly this HTC touch dual by the way this is the touch dual not the touch sorry about the previous errors and the pre in the introduction 
Um, well, it's uh, it doesn't look like much. It's got a generic design, but its feel and its uh, slider factor make it quite a quirky and interesting conversation piece. So anyway, this has been my brief uh, encounter with the HTC Touch Dual. Um, thanks a bunch for watching. Um, and remember, I buy, hoard and collect weird, quirky and obsolete tech stuff like this plethora of HTC phones so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.